I'm Jenny. And I'm Matt. And, and this, this is... Quarantine Cooking. Hey guys, on today's episode of Quarantine Cooking, we're going to be making tomato bisque. And grilled cheese. Yay. When it comes to grilled cheese, nobody loves it as much as we do. Right, Jay? I love grilled cheese. Yeah, no one loves it as much as we do. Here's the thing, though. Yesterday, when we tried to shoot this video, we had realized that our bread was moldy and we had a collective breakdown. Collectively. Had a breakdown. Broke down. We just broke down. In the collective. Collectively. Um, and so then we were like, well, what are we gonna do? We can't make our famous grilled cheese without our bread. So we decided to... <laughs> <laughs> so we decided to use English muffins. My stepdad got me this home homeries Bagel slicer guillotine Sponsor thing us. Sponsor us. for Christmas. Um, so we're actually gonna try it out today, and we're gonna try to guillotine our English muffins. Long live the king! We love to use brie cheese when we're making grilled cheese, and we love to put cranberries in our grilled cheese. The last of our cranberries. Yes, but then you might ask, well, what is this onion doing here? Something we discovered a long time ago was that if you caramelize onions in buttery and olive oily goodness and then throw them into your grilled cheese, it's just, it's like another level. It's magical. It's the adult grilled cheese that you've been waiting for. And we're prepared to share it with you today. And today we're actually going to be using our white wine to caramelize the onions. Oh yeah, we're getting experimental. So. No grilled cheese is complete without an easy tomato bisque. Courtesy we got of <laughs> It's not your moment. Oh. And no grilled cheese recipe is complete without an easy tomato bisque. Courtesy of Taste of Home. So this easy tomato bisque looks pretty easy and we have like most of the ingredients for it there's some garlic some butter some bone broth some tomato paste some half and half stuff like that and time wise it says the prep and total time is 20 minutes which means it should only take us like two hours and that's actually what we're going to start with are you ready to go yeah i'm ready to go i'm starving yeah this quarantine is really doing me in yeah let's go it's time for hand washing time. Thirty seconds. Song initiating. Am I more than you bargained for yet? I've been dying to tell you anything you wanna hear. Cause that's just who I am this week. Lie in the grass. Next to the mausoleum I'm just a notch in your bedpost But you're just a line in a song Drop a heart Break a name We're always sleeping in and sleeping For the wrong team So uh, today we're going to be slicing up the absolute crustiest onion in our entire stock. We're going to cut it in very, very thin slices in order to maximize the crustiness flavor. And uh, we're just going to do a couple of sideways slices so we don't cut off our fingers. And that's a wrap, folks. Our favorite part of our grilled cheese is making the caramelized onions. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this pan to a medium-low heat. So we're going to throw on about one and a half tablespoons butter and we like to mix in a little olive oil we're gonna give that a quick stir what are you doing what i'm stirring <laughs> oh yay <laughs> and then we're gonna toss in our onions 
do the honors. Thank you. Yay! We also like to add some iodized salt. Gonna mix it around. We're gonna caramelize them at a very, very low heat for about one hour. 40 minutes in, we're going to add our white wine. Really important, guys. When you're caramelizing onions, you want them to be on the lowest heat. Matt always caramelizes our onions because I'm impatient and I'll just eat them out of the pan. <laughs> Honestly, we still might eat them out of the pan. Alexa, can you set a timer for one hour, please? One hour, starting now. I love Alexa. So, while we're caramelizing these onions, we're actually going to start on our tomato bisque. So I'm going to turn the fire on, like a medium, our stove. <gasps> this one actually sort of does medium heat. I'm going to add this butter. I think it's like two tablespoons or something. Thank you, Matt. You're welcome. I'm going to add this garlic, two cloves that Matt actually mints today. Thank you again. Brownie points. <laughs> Um, and we're actually going to let this cook for about two minutes. Let that butter melt, let that garlic get nice and... Ooh. It's looking garlicky. Can I do a slam dunk? Nope. Dunk! <laughs> do, you want the, do you want the bowl in there too? Um, I'm going to say no. Okay. It smells pretty good. Yeah? To be honest, yeah, you okay. smell Yeah. I think the next step is our bone broth. You want to open that up? Ooh, sure. Our Swanson bone broth. Unsponsored. Ooh. Yikes! <laughs> um, this whole thing is about four cups worth of bone broth. <laughs> so I'm going to add an entire can of tomato paste. I think this might be like our last full can of tomato paste. So we're sort of in luck. And you're going to mix this like crazy. So one of the reasons why we chose this particular recipe is because it doesn't call for a blender. And as you know, we actually don't even own a blender. There's a lot of tomato paste in this tiny container. Yeah. This is going to be a very tomato-y bisque. I'm going to add a little bit of cayenne pepper. It says between like an eighth teaspoon and a fourth teaspoon. I'm just going to eyeball it. Balling it. And now we're going to mix it up and wait for it to boil. Oh, we should set a timer for two minutes. It starts being timed for two minutes after it's boiling. I want to do something. What should I do? I want to do something. I think goldfish would taste good. Good to know. I used to put my goldfish in my tomato soup like croutons. See? Fish incoming. <laughs> so I just looked up the difference between a soup and a bisque. Tell it to them real. Um, and Google says that a bisque is simply a type of thick soup that is generally smooth. So I'm going to go ahead and reduce the heat on this. We're going to add the cream slowly, the half and half, the, the mixture. Ready? Yes. Ooh. It looks like my camels. I actually think that I'm going to add some salt and white pepper to this. Just for like some extra flavor. Verdict. You want the honest verdict? Yes. It's a little lackluster. <laughs> So here's our bisque that we're not really happy with. 
Um, so we're gonna try to save it. We're gonna try to add some more tomato paste and stuff. And we'll let you know how it goes. So here we have a mix of tomato paste, olive oil, and water. We're gonna add that to our bisque in an attempt to give it more flavor. So here we have the cooking wine. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and add a splash of that to our onions that have been caramelizing for quite some time. Splash. So here is the guillotine. It's like a saw. So I guess we throw the muff in here. Just do it! Perfect slice every time, <laughs> baby. <laughs> All right, next one, let's go. We're doing it again. Oh my God. You wanna try? <laughs> yeah, I do. Hey. Um. All right, all right. This definitely is not made for English muffins. Making that being progress. said. So quality of chopping English muffins, I'd say is like a three out of 10. Yikes. But three? quality of fun, I'd say is a 10, 10 out, out of 10. 10. You wanna do one? Yeah. It's time to fire up the grill. Fire up the grill. And we're gonna take our smart balance and slather it on the grill. Now, keep in mind, we've never made these with English muffins before. So we're gonna put the bottoms on first. Sizzle. Sizzle. Now we're gonna slap on our brie. We're getting cheesy in here. Do we have extra mm -hmm. cheese? We do have extra ah. cheese. Ready? Mm -hmm. We're gonna add some onions on top of these bad boys. We're gonna try to evenly distribute. We both, as we said, are like obsessed with onions. So we like to have a good amount of onions. <gasps> you yeah. dropped one! I'm sorry. It's okay. I saved him. It's okay. Got scared for a second. <laughs> We're just gonna give these maybe three minutes on this side. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the other, we're gonna put the top of the English muffin on and flip them. Shall I cranberry this up? Yes. We have to get some pictures for those yeah, for our fans up there. <laughs> for our fans. I think our grilled cheeses are ready. Let's take a quick look. Oh yeah. Look at that. Mm. A little burnt, but doable. Let's keep it. I personally like my grilled cheese a little bit burnt. Yes. I like that flavor. Yeah. And actually English muffins taste good with a little bit of a char. Yeah, <laughs> they really do. All right. And here we have it. Our English muffin grilled cheese. Woo! <clears throat> so we're actually gonna go and plate this and plate our tomato bisque. We'll see you at the table for our taste test. See you in a bit. So we're gonna try the tomato bisque for you guys first. We went through a lot of experimentation for this bisque. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. <gasps> hmm. I actually don't think it's that bad. It's definitely better than when we first were like making it. Yeah, it tasted a lot like the um, like the bone broth actually. Yeah, it didn't really cream. have <laughs> cream bone broth and it's creamy really, bone broth. Yeah, it was it's a little strange actually. <laughs> yeah, creamy bone broth. I'd say if you're gonna <clears throat> make this recipe, um, definitely add more tomato paste than it calls for. Ready for the dip test? I'm ready for the dip test. <sighs> All right, let's do this. Cheers. 
Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> you have tomato bisque on your face. I know. Mmm. 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 Oh, okay. I like the English muffin grilled mm -hmm. cheese. Yeah. Oh yeah, it packs the flavor of the grilled cheese in like a portable, small <laughs> English muffin size. Actually, I can see this being really well for lunches. But I'd say I like it on the English muffin. I think we added just the right amount of cheese and amount of onions. We're out of onions? No, the amount of onions is perfect. Oh my goodness, I thought you said we're out of onions. <laughs> no, we will never be out of onions. We have so many onions. I have an idea. I have an idea. What's your idea? I'm gonna eat my grilled cheese and add the soup later. Is that a good idea? Don't try that at home, guys. <laughs> Alrighty, I think that's all we have for today. I'm excited to eat the rest of this for dinner. Mm -hmm. Any parting thoughts? Perfect. Stay so hydrated, guys. <laughs> oh yeah, hydration. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. We'll see you back at the table next time. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye.